This message is to Pastor Ebed Damina and to all his likes. This message is to everyone who keeps finding fault, always seeing fault in what other pastors are doing. Uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody showed me a video. Somebody was angry with me. I was saying, I am native doctor. Then they now say, I have destroyed the pillars of Christianity. What a man who has come to destroy the system. See how you people, see how you are clapping for him. See how you are telling him, right God. You are making him to boast, thinking that he is an authority in Christianity. He is not an authority. Ebed Damina is a native doctor. Ebed Damina, he is not a scholar. He is just, he is just a motivational speaker. He is not a preacher of the word of God. He only presents Jesus to an extent. Then he is things to fight against Christianity. Okay, now listen. Let me give you some point. For you to know that this man, Ebed Damina, is an antichrist in the form of pastor. In the, when the devil wants to deceive the world, the devil is not a fool. He will speak intelligently. So we have started fighting fathers of faith because of Ebed Damina. Prophet Mosambe added to his cry over Dr. Ebed Damina. He said that he's a motivational speaker and native doctor. When we talk about the heresy of uh, modern traditional doctor Ebed Damina, people think that we are just talking because he spoke of seed and tithing. That is not what we are saying. When this uh, uh, modern traditional doctor Ebed Damina spoke about seed and tithing, that one was the doctrine of his church. And nobody came out to say anything. Nobody. Now he himself capitalizes on that, thinking that is where the problem is. Let me tell you something. In this Christianity, there are people who love God so much and can give to support the work of God. It's not even about tithe or offering. It's not about tithing. Tithing, what people give to God, is far beyond tithing. So when we begin to talk, people will say that hey, he has affected church business. There is nothing like that. He himself cannot preach all that too because he realizes that in this area, people are hearing him. People are, so he, he is now like saying that that is the reason why people have come to be talking against him. That is not it. Now, I want you to reason something. I want you to see something. When we are talking, when Abel Damina spoke about his, his seed and tithing, nobody came out to say anything about it. He was preaching. He was preaching. He was preaching. Nobody came out to say anything. Where people, where some of us started reasoning some things about the doctrine of this modern traditional doctor, Abel Damina, it is when we started touching something. Even like last time in my last video, when I talked about touching some, fundam some fundamental uh, uh, pillars of Christianity, where uh, some other dog people came in and were saying that nobody is a pillar of Christianity. We were not talking about uh, uh, somebody being a pillar of Christianity. We were talking about some strong, strong points, some, 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 some necessities of Christianity, such as the birth of Jesus, with that he came and tried to change the concept, talking about about repentance when he himself is teaching his member to live anyhow how can a pastor say that you once you receive jesus christ will save always say that means to say anybody both uh, 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 and robbers, uh, 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 witches, and wizards, occultic uh, people. And so the world just need to come and say, Jesus, we accept you as our Lord and Savior, and go back to the killing, go back to, to their witchcraft and other practices of life because they have confessed Jesus. So at that level, it means there is no need for church. There is no need for preaching. Because any, everybody should just say, Jesus, we receive you as personal Lord and Savior. So we are just like trying to say that if a pastor can be raising up such doctrine. What kind of Christians is he raising? So now, at my mind, we went to some of these things. Now, I, I, I was attracted to a particular point where he said that there is no baptism anymore, that after the baptism of Jesus, uh, there is no other baptism which will show him in the Bible, where other baptism, where the scripture talked about other baptism, that when Jesus baptized, he had baptized for everybody. So these are the area. So people should not go and turn over to the right to think that uh, pastors are talking because uh, 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 we have come to play talk with this team. Whether ever Damina, uh, uh, a modern traditional doctor Damina, say whatever. There are people who love God from the depth of their heart. 
there are those of us who are beloved name givers. We give. I mean, give. Eh? We give because of the work of God. So it is not His work that can change those who really love God and love God from the depth of their heart. So those things He said, He sent them to His believers and His. Uh, Followers, those who have been arranged because in my place of prayer, God revealed something I'm going to share with us right now. So when I, I came to that his word to see baptism, those are some of the things that will, will make us to speak out outside and publicly to say now those of you who are hearing this because you are his follower that you have been so brainwashed that you cannot even understand when things are wrong. You just want to talk, you just want to come in, you just want to make noise, you want to insult. Listen, if it is an insult, in as much as we have a right stand by the word of God, such insult does not have anything to do. Now he said that in this scripture we should give scripture about any other baptism baptism has not to jesus has baptized once and for all so that i reason it to say this man they call him doctor but nevertheless he is a modern traditional doctor because in mark chapter 16 verse 16 he would believe and is baptized will be saved but he who does not believe will be condemned and those are the things he's standing against now when we talk in john chapter 3 verse five jesus answer this is jesus the same jesus he preaches jesus answer and tell uh, uh, jesus answer and tell the truth unless a man is born of water and of the spirit this is jesus himself talking and of the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of god so when you realize that this modern traditional doctor is saying things how do you just bring the scripture and start to brainwash the people he will say that he's entering greek all of us are studying the greek we have studied the hebrew we have studied all those things so 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 i don't know where he's coming from with this kind of thing to deprive that i will tell you now what the holy ghost minister to me about most of these doctrine these things is bringing up act of apostle chapter 2 verse 38 verse 41 and peter said to them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sin that one ought to have double capacity to talk about the area he said that there is nothing like sin and all those things so because of time i may not have time to say this the, 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 these things i want to say really romans chapter 6 verse 3 verse, romans chapter 6 verse 3 to 4 all you all, all don't you know what don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism and wash away your sins. Then you can even see an uh, uh, act of apostle. Act of apostle also said something like, And now, why do you wait? Rise and be baptized. You can see first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11 there are too many scripture too many scripture so now those of you will see this scripture now you will stick it to where he has brainwashed you and start to call him and we say rubbish thing so when we come there we are talking about the, the wrong things that he, he deliberate and, and give out to people with. so now in my place of prayer i was asking god what is happening what is happening what is going on in the world and the lord god spoke to me he opened my eyes then in those days when there were churches i don't i'm not when i talk about churches not ministry owned by people normally the the, 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 the devil have raised people the devil have raised people to fight against christianity no wonder one idiot from ghana he brought the image of uh, 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 this modern traditional dr damina and was talking quoting from his own work from dr uh, uh, damina's work and said that he is going to close christianity in 10 days i looked at him i laughed that in the bible when jesus was born the tribe they even killed jesus thinking that christianity will be frustrated and it will end and up to today christianity is the highest in the world and it cannot stop the God opened my eye he said what now listen to this prophecy listen to what will happen this there will be fighting 
they will be fight because the devil have raised people like this modern traditional doctor damina they call him and some other group of people who are highly paid some are paid on social media some are paid. that is why anytime a video like this comes out for reality to be told you will see the majority of people who will come in to throw insult those are people that has been sent in the river of the spirit to back him up whether they know it or they don't know it some of them are just doing it foolishly they don't even understand they have come to back him up that is why he is turning the mind of people out of the real christian doctrine to bring a lot of people hear me this prophecy a renounced church of god a christian church will be broken will be burned down another one in other nations some of them they will be fight they will be battled because this is what the devil want the devil want to raise people from among christians as if they are believers now to destroy to bring wrong doctrine and will turn the mind of many christians in those days where we muslim start to make a, 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 a argument with christian every day now is happening and 75 percent of people who come on media to talk rubbish and propagate the gospel of this modern traditional doctor they are his followers there are co-workers from the realm of the spirit so god told me that the fight listen there's going to be a serious fight and all this thing is coming because of what this particular man is doing there will be fight but after this fight christianity will still blow all that Dr. Abel Damina is a native Dr. Abel Damina. He has destroyed the foundation of Christianity. Then, you know, <laughs> you know, he now listed what the foundation of Christianity is. I think that guy is not born again. I'm so sorry. I think he went to a church where the pastor doesn't know what he's doing. Because he says the foundation of Christianity, number one, is that I say there is nothing like heaven at last. So heaven at last is a foundation of Christianity. I just felt sorry for him all these people that are doing videos on me i just pity their the level of their illiteracy their ignorance and the level of how pastors they sat under has wasted their life wasted their time and wasted them i feel for them it's not even something to be angry about how can you be angry about somebody who is very ignorant and has made himself useless what is there to be angry about it's a waste of energy we use our energy for better things. We pray that they come to the knowledge of the truth. We pray that after they rant, they will join our church. So that our disciples, 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 disciple will disciple them. You didn't say amen to that prayer. How can heaven at last be a pillar of Christianity? Not even the death, burial, resurrection, ascension of Christ heaven at last which is a fallacy it's not even in the bible heaven at last is not in the bible show me anywhere the bible say you will get to heaven at last it's not even in the bible but you know when falsehood becomes an institution truth looks like rebellion if you read the bible very well we are seated with christ right now in heaven there's nothing like heaven at last and he calls that a pillar of Christianity. And he was speaking with vehemence. Like somebody that had collected his teddy bear from him. Speaking with vehemence. Throwing tantrums. Like a baby that doesn't want to outgrow pampas. Damina is not who you think he is. You call him Dr. Ebel Damina. He's a native Dr. Damina. He's native Dr. Ebel Damina. A preacher, you call himself a Christian, a preacher who will stand as a preacher, as a pastor, and attacks all the strong pillars of Christianity, and people are celebrating him. Now, this Christianity did not start in the day of Abel Damina. It has started, and this conflict has never existed. Nevertheless, let us picture what the Bible says. The end time, things like this will be. Abel Damina came as a servant of God, as a preacher, but he is not what you think. Native Dr. Abel Damina is not a Christian. He is an antichrist in the form of a preacher who will cause conflict in, in, in Christianity.
Christian dog. Listen, they say that any house that is scattered within himself, that is divided within himself, has scattered. Native doctor Ebed Damina has come to scatter and to use the name of Jesus to destroy Christianity. Listen, you see Bible. Anybody can interpret Bible the way they want to make it favor the native this message is to Pastor Ebed Damina and to all his likes. This message is to everyone who keeps finding fault, always seeing fault in what other pastors are doing. You, you see, there are people like that. They always see fault in what other people are, not only in ministry now. There are people, we used to have some of them, even in those days when we were in school. Some people who think they know it all. They always think that people should look up to them. They always see themselves as the best. I used to have some, one or two of such persons when I was in school. Listen, I was preaching today in church. And this scripture, I used it to preach. You see, when I was preaching, it was a bedamina that came into my mind. Jesus said in Matthew 15, 13, He said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. Listen. This is a message. I'm doing this video. I don't care what some of you will think or talk or say. I'm putting it out here as a reminder that look, you see a better man, he won't last in what he's doing. He's on the way to getting fed out from the memories of people. He's on his way to getting deleted from the memories of people. Pastor Sunday Adelaja used to do these things. He did it for a year or a year plus. Who is watching Pastor Sunday Adelaja today? How many people used to go to his page to try to listen to what? How many people used to you, now goes to his page to try to listen to what he's talking about? How many? That the priest tried it. That the priest used it to gather followers. Today he doesn't talk much of pastors. He's not doing his business. Some of you who are following these people, who are following fault finders, you don't know the game these guys are trying to do. Is it true that there are fake pastors? Yes, there are fake pastors who are what? Even me, I used to talk, I used to do a critique on some pastors sometimes. But it is not my calling. Because you see, I realize that some pastors, they put certain things out there that is what talking about, that is what criticizing. But you see, Pastor Ebedamina is a fault finder, is the greatest fault finder right now in the, in the, in the body of Christ. Always criticizing everything everybody do. That was what the Pharisees and the Sadducees were doing. In Matthew chapter 13, they were criticizing Jesus. Why is it that your, your disciples, they don't wash their hands before they eat? And Jesus tell them, do you people honor your father and your mother? The law also say, honor your father and your mother, but you don't do so. Hallelujah. And in verse 13, you read that verse, that verse in verse 13. Jesus said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. Listen to me very carefully, people of God. Listen to me, because some of you are, I don't want to call you gullible followers. No, I don't want to bring you such words. Some of you follow blindly. Anyone who is always finding fault, it is not a calling from God. God did not send any human being to only be finding fault in everybody. They find fault in pastors who use anointing oil. They find fault in holy communion. That is a bedamina. He finds fault in water baptism. What has, what has a bedamina not found fault in? Listen. There are some grass in which he is right, no doubt. I won't argue that. But on many grass, he's very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. Is it everything pastors do that you will come out and put thing, you claim you claim you want to you want to correct some things? You want to what is the meaning of that? I watched a video this morning as I was preparing for church. I saw Pastor Bishop Duncan Williams a Bedamina brought at Bishop that Bishop Duncan Williams issue of sword. Holding the sword, he was holding the sword, using the sword to pray. Some of these things have prophetic meaning. Is it everything you must criticize? You are criticizing anointed oil. But many people have been blessed using anointed oil. We don't worship anointed oil. Is anointed oil not scriptural? It's only coming not scriptural. But you people keep following the Bedamina. We will see how long it will last. We will see how long. This is the message I just have to come and put out here for you guys to hear. I want to, I want to put it out here so it will be, it will be, it will, it will, it will be here as a reminder to all of you. I, I will repeat it. Most of these guys following the Benjamin are not even born again. Many of them are just online followers. Tomorrow now, if some, if, 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 if they will be the first to stop watching his videos. Just watch it. We will see how long it will last. 
a won't last. There's no fault finder that, that will last. No fault finder. No pastor is perfect anywhere, including Damina himself. He is working, he has made many erratic statements. Oh God, some of you don't know anything. Some of you don't know. Some of you don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know. You don't really know anything. You don't know. You don't know. When you learn, like very dark man, like, like very dark black man would say, some of you are going to learn, and you'll learn the hard way. <laughs> bye bye. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful. Prophet Bosembe has bought market for himself. Oh. <laughs> My friend has bought market for himself. <laughs> I told them, I have said this in times with that number, any pastor that wants to correct Dr. Ebe Damina must be ready for the dance because he must definitely reply. Dr. Ebe Damina is not someone you drag and you keep quiet. No. Once you drag him on social media, he will drag you, drag you, drag you, and put you away. <laughs> and chase you out of media. <laughs> he will chase you out of social media. When Prophet Bosambe sent that video to me, he sent it to me on, on TikTok. Although he uploaded it on his TikTok, it, because he don't have much subscribers, the video did not go, uh, he did not have much view. He sent it, he tagged me. He sent it to me, he tagged me, I said, ah, who is this person again? I mean the first video. I said, who is this person? He don't know Dr. Ebed Amina. He said, he's a naughty doctor. Okay. I said, I hope you are ready for this dance. <laughs> because I know he would reply. I know for sure he would definitely reply. Now he has a reply. And Prophet Bosambe came out again. He has not even, Ebed Amina has not even replied the first one. It was Dr. Ebed Amina's uh, supporters that were dragging him there on TikTok. Dragging him on my TikTok where I posted it. They dragged him. Eh? Now he came out and answered them. He said that he's not, uh, he's not correcting Dr. Ebed Amina, native doctor. He's not calling it modern native doctor Ebed Amina. He said that he's not correcting him because of his titan, tight and offering of a thing, he said no, that his problem is not that, that is not his problem, that his problem is because every Damina is correcting almost everything in the body of Christ, water baptism and others. Now, here is Ebed Damina. Ebed Damina himself now came out and said that he's pitying, <laughs> that he's just pitying his members and his pastors. They wasted their his time and others. <laughs> yeah, I don't want this video to be long. I'm only here to talk to my, my friend. My friend, Prophet Bosambe. Please, sir. Whenever you want to correct Ebed Amina, just get ready. Okay? Don't correct Ebed Amina once and go. I really understand your teachings. I really understand where you are going to. He said that tight and false fruit is not only your problem there. So your problem now is water baptism and other teachings and other things that have been corrected. The Bible says yes to. Now, sir, with all due respect, me, I don't know what to say here because Ebed Amina did not answer you in full. Okay? He just dropped a little. So let's wait for the complete reply. I strongly believe that if you, if you reply him again and bring out more, more, more errors, more of his teaching that he think that is he has issue, then he will reply in full. Because for me, that tight and false fruit of a thing, for me, they are scam. Okay, they are scam, completely scam. You are teaching on water baptism. That is how you understand it, and here is Ebed. I mean, that is how he understands his own. That is why we call it Bible. Bible told us to study. To study, okay, study to show yourself approved, and not Bible is not a textbook. It's not textbook you can just read anyhow. You have to study it. So any pastor that is doing water baptism, me I will not say that the pastor is a sinner, no. Then I will I say that is is wrong, no. Because that is how you understand his own. 
That is the kind of revelation he got. Okay? Anybody that say no more water baptism, that all the doctrine in the church, in, in the Christian, they are all scam. I will not also condemn the pastor because that is how he understood it. Okay? So if you're a pastor and you're listening to me, if you're doing water baptism, please don't see yourself as a sinner. Okay? Don't see yourself as a sinner. A, a man, a teacher, Nicodemus, he went to Jesus by a night in, of, in John chapter 3. And he said to Jesus, he said, Rabbi, what should I do that I may inherit the kingdom of God? What should I, what should I do that I may enter this place they call the kingdom? What should I do that I may be holy? I want to live a life of righteousness. I want to make heaven. What should I do that I may be, I may be ready and rapturable? And Jesus said to him, He said, You must be born again. You must be born again. Should I enter my mother's womb to be born again? He said, No. You must be born with water and the spirit. Meaning, you must be fully born again. Meaning, you must deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me. Meaning, you must deny yourself. Say no to evil. Say no to wickedness. You must be born again. You must be born again. So, mean, so what am I actually saying here? For a child of God to enter the kingdom of God is not, is not, is not water baptism. You don't need those things to be to enter there. It's not about be born again. Live holy life. Your old man must die in you. The new man must emerge. You must be born again. That is what, that is what, that is our criteria. That is the criteria of going to heaven. But here in Sebe Damina, Dr. Ebe Damina also made us to understand that heaven is not the final destination. That we are not going to heaven. That Christians are not supposed to think of going to heaven. We are to go to a place above heaven. If heaven is your if heaven is your goal as a believer, you are having a wrong desire. And don't understand that teaching, honestly. Because all I you know and my Bible is all about telling me heaven. He also bring out another point. He said, Where we are God before he created heaven and earth. God may not be there in heaven, he may not be there when he created it. That is why the Bible called him what? Omnipotent and omniscient God. God is invisible. He don't live. He live in us. So, but for me, my desire is to go to heaven. My desire is to make heaven. If you say we should not go to heaven, Dr. Ebed Amina, we should not desire to go to heaven. Where do you want us to go then? After heaven, third heaven, the same heaven, fourth heaven, the same heaven. For those that believe that one, please. For me. All my desire is that one day I shall meet God, that I may meet my master, and he will tell me, well done, my faithful servant. So heaven is my desire. If heaven is not your desire, me, I don't know. But for me, heaven is my desire. Heaven is my goal. Heaven is what I'm, I'm crying for, that I may go to heaven. I may live with my master, that I may go to heaven. The time I live life of holiness in, on earth, so that after everything, I'll be raptured. Even the rapture self, that Ebed, I mean, I said that there's nothing like rapture. There's nothing like rapture. Jesus did not preach the gospel. So there's nothing Ebed, I mean, has not corrected. <laughs> he said that Jesus did, and even angels did not preach the gospel. If you have not watched that video, I'll put the link on the description. Although, he, he, for now, the video is on Facebook. But if I have time, I'll upload it on YouTube and put a link on the description. That is Dr. Ebed Amina for you. So he corrects almost everything. And that is the pain of pastors. Like this pastor now that, say, that made comment of it, said Ebed Amina corrects almost everything. I think he's right. Yes. I'm not saying that it's wrong not to correct something. Of course, it's good to correct. Okay? If there's anything wrong, it's good to correct. But the, two is, the correction is too much. Even correct and correct and correct that. He even said that in one of his videos. I will attach that one also here. 
Although the video for now, the video is on Facebook. I'll put them here. He said that pa uh, Prophet Isaiah in the Bible lied to us. All those things are not. He still said the same thing, similar thing like like Apostle John Suleiman, who claimed that Apostle Paul's messages are wrong. Now the same Ebed I mean, I came out and says if you correct Apostle Paul's messages, he said no, Apostle Paul's messages are not wrong. How can you claim that what is written in the Bible is wrong? The apostles' message is wrong. Now the same you now say that uh, Prophet Isaiah lied to us. So I don't just get it. Is it almost the same thing? So the correction is much as this brother said. This pastor now that says something, Pastor Sam. He said that you correct too much. The correction for me, I think, is much. But it's good to correct. So if you look at what the pain and the complaint of Prophet Bosambe, if I that complaining, that complaint, yes, there's reason for the complaint. But calling you a native doctor for me is wrong. He's not you're not a native doctor, sir. You're not a native doctor. So that native doctor statement is wrong. That is why I told him, that is, I even told him, I said, sir, please, whenever you are addressing issues like this, don't be adding abusive or insulting words. I don't like it. Don't attack the person. Only correct error if there is. And that is why I like Dr. Ebed Amina. He don't use to attack the person. He don't use to abuse people. He can only correct error. Uh, the teachings, your wrong teaching. He can say no to this. But the way you correct it, it may sound offensive, but it not attack you. What he attacked was your wrong teaching. So that is why I just like his way of correcting. He don't correct, he don't abuse people at the cost of correcting something. No. But you guys who abuse the person, abuse, 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 which is wrong. So please, pastors, learn this thing. Learn this thing from him. Just correct error. Don't attack the person. So thank you guys for listening. I want to make this thing clear. This is disclaimer. This video did not target to defend their characters. Is under fair use. So credit to the source. See you guys next time. Shalom.